The P1 is a single prop high wing hotline style RC plane for 3D printing. It's a fast plane with relatively high wing loading, probably not for beginners. Welcome to the build video. You need to print off all your parts and clean them up removing any brims and supports and it's always good to gently sand the faces together that will be glued. First off we're going to assemble the V-tail. Run some piano wire through the rudovator and dry fit it into the V-tail. Now you can cut it to size, leaving a few millimetres at the end of the piano wire where it will join the tail boom. You can glue the assembled V-tail and rudovator with the piano wire to the tail boom. Now we can glue the assembled V-tail to the midsection fuselage. The aileron controls are built into the wing. To assemble the wing, place everything in front of you in position. Run the piano wire through the inboard wing, then the aileron cap, then the aileron, then fly it finally into the outboard wing section. Make sure the piano wire is pushed as far into the outboard section as possible as this gives enough excess for the bend we're going to apply. Slide the aileron cap inboard and mark your piano wire next to the aileron. Take the wing apart and make another mark about 3mm outboard of the first mark. Place your U-bend in the wire here, being sure to start your bend at the 3mm mark and go outboard. Don't bend it inboard or it won't fit. Reassemble the wing with the bend and the piano wire pushed into the slot on the aileron. Make sure everything fits before you start gluing. Once you've checked it fits, glue the aileron cap to the aileron to lock in the piano wire. And now you can reassemble the wing around it. Now glue the wing sections together, making sure obviously that the aileron that you've just made and the control rod is all inserted. You can place about 30mm of uh, ice lolly stick inside the slot in the wing if you wish. With the wing assembled, lay it on a surface such that the aileron is in the neutral position with the wing. Then, add a 90 degree bend in the wire at the wing root, keeping it as close as you can to the exit hole so that it doesn't interfere with the other wing. Make sure the aileron is in the correct position when you bend the wire. Slide the wings into the wing body join and glue the wings together. You can see here that I've already put the aileron control linkages on the end, but you don't need to have them yet. If you're going to put the ice lolly stick through the wing, now's also the time to do that. Don't worry if the wing body join isn't central yet, we're going to glue that later. Now with the wing glued together, we can just feed some glue into the join. I usually do it on the underside where you can't see it. Capillary action will take the glue into the uh, gap. So you just need to make sure it's central at this point and then leave it to dry. You can use one or two servos for the elevator. If you use two, you can mix in rudder and have a rudder Shown here is the single servo setup. But if you want to use two, you simply set up the servos in tandem, slightly offset or on opposite sides and use usual short servo arms. For the one shown here, I've used a long servo arm with two holes uh, drilled in. Glue your servo into the mount. I usually use hot glue at a lower temperature, around 170 degrees. Don't glue the mount yet, as we're going to fit the piano wire first. Fit your piano wire to the servo arm, and make sure the wires are fed through the holes at the fuselage tail. And now you can glue the servo, or servos if using two, in place. Fit your motor to the firewall. You'll notice the firewall has a cutout on the back side. This is for the canopy latch, so when you glue the firewall in place it needs to be pointing up. Gluing this part in is tricky, so it's worth having a few goes at getting it in the right place before you add any glue. And once you're happy you can get it in place and central, then go ahead and glue it in. Now 
This model uses a single aileron servo. In the picture here you can see an orange servo mount, but this has been refined to a slot in the wing. You can glue this in place in the slot in the wing. I use hot glue for this. Dry fit the aileron control linkages and cut the piano wire as required. Once it's all set up, you can glue the control linkages in place using an epoxy. You can use other glues, but it isn't as reliable. You can see here I've already drilled the small hole for the cockpit. Slide the canopy forward so the latch goes under the cockpit skin. Here you can see the wing fuselage bracket also screwed in place.